Hey, web viewers, it's a day off, the day after Ghent Wavel Ghent, and uh, as always, now we know why Mr. Grady racks up an incredible phone bill when we're on these trips overseas, because he's always on the phone to the office trying to keep things going. We're sitting in the town square here in Antwerp while waiting for Mr. Liggett to join us, and we're having a great time. I'm having a superb Belgian beer. Just behind me, there's a shop that sells 280 different kinds of Belgian beers. But I know what you all like out there on the webland. You like to look at the interviews. And yesterday we had a chance to get a few interviews. One I particularly enjoyed was Tom Steele's. Tom, a little bit of a difficult start to the year for you with that nasty crash in the Tour of Qatar. Yeah, there's been a little disaster. First race of the year and uh, I broke immediately my, my cobble bone. So it's, it's been a, a start with ups and downs. I was amazed to see you actually getting in the places already in the three days of La Pana. So things must be starting to get back for you. Yeah, it's, it's getting better and better. I, I, like a lot of riders do after my cover bone, uh, I, I restarted too fast, too hard, and I had uh, two, three weeks really off. But now since the three days of the bonnet, it starts to get better and better. So uh, let's hope we can do something today. Last year you won this race. You went, got through the Tour of Flanders without too many injuries. Um, do you want to win it again? Yeah, I won't, but uh, I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> my form is, uh, I don't know my form, uh, how it is at the moment, so now we just see. It shouldn't be too difficult to race when it goes up to the coast this year because there's not really very much wind around, so most people are thinking it could well be a big bunch sprint today. Yeah, it can be a sprint. Yeah, it's true, it's not too much wind, but anyway, we, it's going to go first of Kemmerberg and uh, maybe 50 guys, but I can't believe more than that. It's a kind of race that you could do well in if uh, Robbie falls by the wayside. Well, Robbie's feeling pretty confident today. Uh, we we have a strong team. You know, the morale's really high after after uh, Flanders. Uh, I'm feeling much better. I, I've been sick for the last couple of weeks, and I'm finally feeling better. So main goal is to help Robbie, and uh, but you never know. I mean, this race is Gent Wevelgem. It's one of the biggest races of the year, and anything can happen. Well, can you believe it? Uh, Tim Grady is still yakking on the phone, racking up the airways bills. But I'm sure you enjoyed those interviews. There are a lot more on the DVD, as there are always for Tour of Flanders, Paris Bay, all of the races we cover. So log in and uh, make sure that you get your pre-order on the DVD. I'm going to take a little bit of a rest now. And uh, just while we're here in the square, I'm going to leave you with the sights of something not Belgian, but actually English, the Morris Dancers. <laughs> Thank you.